there will be some editing of this video. I would hope so. So that you don't have me on camera breathing like I'm gonna die the whole time. The half a mile trail. Half a mile. Can you believe that I have exerted myself that much? No, I can't either. Here we are at birthday weekend. It's April 19 and my birthday is the 21st. And I'm walking right now at America's Stone Stonehenge. America's Stonehenge, if you can believe it. It's, uh, here we go, here's the sign. Half a mile walk, let's do it. Yeah, that's fine. All right, $13 a person. Holy Moses. It's a little model inside. They have a gem dig. And then the model. Here at America's Stonehenge, they also have Geo Central, which is Wonders of the World. And you can fill a bag with some gems, some rocks from the outside. We have just watched the movie on America's Stonehenge. It's an active archaeology site and research continues. It says take only pictures, leave only footprints. This stick here, I think, will land on one of these markers depending on the sun. Right now the sun's not really out, but these are marked and numbered. And I'm in a wheel, I think I'm in a clock. Oh, that fell off, the seven fell off. But this is the stone in the center, America's Stonehenge. There's a gemstone dig over here. So you can dig gems if you wanted to, right in this pit. And then you'd shake them out in the screen to see if you actually got any gems. Or a garden. This says it's the Three Sisters Garden. And similar to a lot of the community gardens that are in town in different cities, they have set these gardens up here. But look at the trail. If you were riding a mountain bike, wouldn't you love this? Squeeze between two rocks, glacial rocks, I think, that were probably broken when the glaciers receded. And just all the way up. This is, this is great. You can watch me just breathe heavy as I come up to the site. Gretchen's already there reading about it, so. Maybe she'll give me the Cliff Notes version. A glacial boulder was used as one side of this chamber. It is situated at one end of a double-walled path and was excavated in 55, 59, 69, and 81. Stone and bone pendants were found during one of the excavations. The chamber was named the Watch House to explain its location outside of the main site, although it could have also been used for shelter or storage. A little slick rock, a little moss. The landscape is so different from the landscape in Ireland, it's hard to see the similarities, but I also... Well, we have so many trees in a lot of our areas, right. they have a rock base. Yeah. Now, do we go straight or right? Looks like we go straight. All right. There's a fence and a fence. So maybe this was a well. It's a well. Yep, that's my guess. You guessed it all right. I like the idea of you being an aquaologist. Yeah, I could be an aquaologist yeah, if I could say it, if I could spell it. I'd have to get that as a license plate. A-Q-U-A-P-O-L-O-G-I-S-T. Lower gate main site. All right, yeah, we got it. Number six. Through Walk through the gate you see behind us. Just Seven is right here, oh, yeah. blocked it's off. It's like some stairs. I gotta turn inside the book. I'm gonna just show you the seven, but I think it stairs up to those rocks right there. I would I definitely know. say this is not Stonehenge, but it's definitely. It's henge of some sort. It's been habit. It's a habitat. Probably so for this, lots of different kinds of people. This is the patty area. It patty, looks like you could go in there. Patty? patty? Oh, patty. And I don't know what that circle is, what these painted things are. That's where they sharpened their tools, according to them. Oh, okay. Tool sharpener. And that thing is where they made soap, according to them. And they made paper. soap on that circle. And I don't know how circle. that works. I don't either. And then they have right under here, 
go down, ignore the fence if you can, but all the way underneath and all the way into the little house. And it actually looks like that stone we saw in Ireland. It does look like Ireland. You can go in here. I'm going to insert that photo of the stone in Ireland right here so you can see it. But it was up. Wasn't the cliff some more? What was that area? It was all shale rocks and. You're thinking of um, the Burren. Yeah, it's in yeah. the Burren. That's yeah. where that rock was. Yeah. So here's that photo from the Burren. I'll insert it. If you want to read this right here, it's Jonathan Patty used this area of the site for his house. And they sheltered people. They housed slaves who were broken out of their manacles. There were keys. They didn't house them, they sheltered them. Sheltered them, sorry. And um, tried to avoid the quarry tax. Um, there's a lot of stuff right here. You can see the letters. There's a B, an F, a C. Some more painted holes in that stone. I don't know what that was for, but it had a function. And we're just gonna keep rolling around, maybe walk through this tunnel. So hang on. Watch your head. Oh, it's so cool in here. Wait, go back. I want to take a picture of you. Oh, I was back. No, no, forward. Halfway through. Okay, I'm in. How's that? Great. Probably a lot of snakes. But those markers on the wall indicate something. Looks like there's some mortar here too, so they may have done some work to hold this together uh, more recently than in the past. Instead of just stacking stones like this, it looks further over there like it's not spackled together, but a little cement of some sort. I had to summarize America's Stonehenge in one sentence. Yeah. I would say, don't expect Stonehenge. Oh, look at this though. Look, we go that way. We're chained off, so we gotta go back up. 13 is the south facing chamber. Do they all go through? That's chamber, not tunnel. Yeah, little chamber. What they said in the video was that when the Patty family bought this, or one of the families, they used it to shelter people who were indigent. Yep. So essentially had like four people living in these little chambers. No. Oh. All right, well it's it's sheltered anyway. Yeah, I guess so. This bridge I don't think dates from the Neolithic or any other era. I love this right here though. This is a little dicey. Coming in. 19 East West Chamber. That's a nice place. You can hear the echo. Hello. Oh, and another one. This is like... This is better than some of the condos I've seen lately. Really good. Oh, and then this wall is good too. And they tried restoring the wall. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, been put back fairly neatly. This is really crazy, 1400 BC? Yeah. This rock right here is all wet, so be careful. Yep. Oh yeah, there's another little 27. Yep. Deck chamber. Yep. It says its beliefs have been modified several times, which makes sense. But again, if they're reusing this stuff. Right. So look at that. Nice little shelves in there. Yep. They would have kept their babies. Right. Oh, it's dripping from above, so yeah. it must probably be an avalanche. Or just rainwater. Or condensation. Look at that. This is probably where a snake would pop out and bite you on the face. Oh, I'm moving. Ah, warm out here. It was chilly in there. Yeah. All right, and now, Fine. yeah. So here's a look of where we just came out of. That whole mound underneath is just a pathway we went in. Remember we were over there before? That we just came all the way through. Was created by vandals. It's not actually part of the original site. Which? Where we just came out of. That was created by that vandals? Exit. That exit, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, when? In modern days? Could have been vandals in the 1500s. That's the southerly wall all the way out to the edge. But you can just see the whole encamp encampment. You can see the whole encampment the way it is. And imagine the way it was. Yep, return to trail to lodge. That was pretty interesting. 
little Stonehenge here, right in America, up in New Hampshire. Here's a rotted out tree. They always like to look in there for honey badgers and wolverines. Didn't see any right now. No snakes to bite my face off. So I think we're in pretty good shape. I want to thank you for accompanying me on this with Jeff journey through America's Stonehenge. Please click the thumbs up if you like this episode. Click the bell icon so you're notified when I do another show just like this. And put in the comments down below if you want me to do or explore. What are you looking at? That was the back. <laughs> if you want me to do or explore something that might uh, achieve your bucket list. And I will show you how to go there and accomplish that. Thanks for watching. My name is Jeff Cutler. See you in the next episode.